BBC's bedtime stories are available on the BBC iPlayer app. CBB's Bedtime Story. Hello, I'm Mutsi. This is Dolly. Doesn't she look fabulous? Dolly always wears the coolest pyjamas, but she needs our help. Dolly doesn't know how she wants to do her hair. Decisions, decisions. Actually, I know a brilliant book that might help. It's called My Hair, and it's written by Hannah Lee with illustrations by Alan Fatima Haran. My birthday is coming up so soon. I'll need new clothes to wear. But most of all, I need to know how shall I style my hair. Let me do your hair, jokes daddy. I'm getting better, I swear. Mummy rushes in the room. Daddy, don't you dare. <laughs> Off we go to the hairdressers to get it done professionally. As for what style I'll choose, you'll have to wait and see. Miss Dawn has lots of magazines, just so you can get a clue of the kind of hairstyle that you would like to do. Whilst I'm looking through them, my imagination starts to grow. I'll start to think of all the hairstyles I already know. Mommy has the most dazzling dreadlocks. Such a joy to see them swing. I like to practice plaiting them. It's my favorite thing. My sister likes to experiment. There's not a look that she won't try. Bantu knots, a high top fade, braids, she's not shy. My brothers both have conros with different shapes, patterns and lines. They love to show them off at school, yelling, come see the best designs. Daddy says, shave all over, please. When he sits in the barber's chair, his beard is shiny, curly, and full. That's where he likes his hair. Uncle has waves that are so smooth, swirling all over his head. He keeps his hair brushed and neat. Don't forget the do-rag before bed. Auntie's hair is shaved real short, much like the head of a lioness. She's so cool, stylish and carefree. That's how she likes it best. Baby cousin is so small. <laughs> she hasn't much hair yet. Already it's begun to grow. She'll have loads soon, you can bet. Grandma's hair is short and cropped. There are many curls of gray. She says she found one years ago and invited them all to stay. Grandpa wears turbans, tie heads and scarves. His hair is tucked away from his face for Grandpa has so much hair. That's how he keeps it in place. Time to take a look at my friends and what styles they wear. After all, I still don't know how I'll style my hair. Ryan will have plaits with bows. Her mommy can do them fast. Put a bonnet on, she says, to make the style last. Michael has a mohawk. Brandon has short back and sides. They go to the barbers together and chat while the cutter glides. Nina is my best friend. What style? She asks with a pout. I want to try something new, maybe a twist out. It's been 45 minutes, cries Miss Dawn. What will you do with your hair? Time to let mommy decide. Don't you think that's fair? So mommy whispers in my ear. And that's exactly when I know the hairstyle that I will wear will be my afro. I love my afro when it's out, so big and great and free. My daddy says it's my crown. It defies gravity, a creation to which none could compare. I'm so glad it's mine. I love my hair. Well, Dolly, I think that's the decision made. 
don't you? Wear your afro like the crown that it is. But don't forget your durag. Special hair pajamas to keep it looking as fabulous as you are. Join me again for another bedtime story. Night, night. Ah, bedtime stories is the perfect way to end the day. And you can watch more celebrity readers on CBB's Bedtime Stories on BBC iPlayer.